Uh, we have an update on, let's see how this pulls up all nice. The Cardi B situation, uh, we covered this a little bit ago. Uh, Kevin Brophy is suing Cardi B because over this mixtape cover and his back art. Um, right, this and is then from... just as a yeah, and just as a little recap from that video, you guys can watch it um, on this channel. But specifically, he's suing because he goes, "I didn't say I could be on this cover. I didn't say I could be represented this way. I'm a family man. I got kids. I'm humiliated at what this is allegedly or what's happening in this picture." So that's that's the basis of the lawsuit. And he's suing her for five million. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah, so. You know, she, uh, you know, claimed that she needed to take a little, um, she couldn't, she had to postpone the trial and stuff because she had a baby. Um, and then, you know, Kevin Brophy came back and was just like, you know, uh, she's just stalling. She's, you know, she should be held under sanctions because she was at Fashion Week uh, in Paris. So I got this article from Rolling Stones and it reads Cardi B. We have an update because uh, there was a, a decision kind of made on this. Cardi B did not mislead court about Paris Fashion Week trip judge rules. Kevin Brophy, who is suing the rapper over the use of his likeness on a mixtape cover, called out Cardi for not going to France after she or for going to France after she told the court she needed to avoid risky travel. Um, a federal judge has sided with Cardi B after the tattooed man suing her for five million in California asks that she be punished for her recent trip to Paris Fashion Week. U.S. District Judge uh, Cormac Carney says that in a new ruling obtained by Rolling Stone that the WAP rapper will not face any sanctions and can keep her February travel trial date because she did not say anything misleading when she asked for the trial delay, citing the September 4th birth of her son. The yeah, judge writes he, that he had, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say so um, he in the prior article. Um, before this update came out, he was specifically seeking about $8,000, a little more than $8,000 in sanctions. And that word sanctions means it's like court, you know, smack her on the hand for this bad act. And again, well, you know, what he's saying is she lied, right? So she submitted this thing and said, hey, we got to push the trial date. I think it was from October and to push it to February because she's like, I just had my baby in September. I can't be, you know, feeding and taking care of my, I think her other three-year-old. It's just too much. And the court said, okay, that's fine. And push the trial date to February. And so now he goes, well, right after we had this decision, here she is going to right. fashion week. So she can go to fashion week for a week. Seems like she can be okay, you know, traveling. What's up with that? Yeah, it, it's, it's actually, um, I was actually kind of surprised uh with 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 what the judge said but um just because yeah i mean if you can go do all this stuff i mean i don't know it's it obviously felt like a stall tactic anyway but um you know she did well and i'll 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 come to i'll come to cardi's defense because i thought there are key distinctions okay so she she basically paints the pictures and she goes okay i get it right but it's different here because for me to go to fashion week i think she had her kids in new york she goes we have the the um, not a babysitter or a nanny, I forget the word, but um, a caretaker for the infant. And then also, um, I think it was grandma. They had a family member who's there. They go, it's, it's totally different for me to go for a week to fashion week as a working woman. And she brought up like almost the right. sex discrimination thing. Like if I was a man, would this be any different? Which I thought was interesting because we're saying as a mom, are you okay to go, right? So she goes, as a working woman, this was an opportunity that didn't come up until after I had requested that we push the trial. And she goes, because of what it was, she goes, I am being brought in with the VIPs, the biggest influencers in the industry when it comes to fashion, because we didn't even know about this and what it was. I've had no live shows for two years. This was so huge and important for my career. I had to make it happen. So, I mean, there, there, there definitely is, you know, I, I kind of do kind of see a little bit of her point as far as that goes. It is a, a temporary thing. She's, you know, she's got to work. It is very important. But, you know, stalling a lawsuit, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't, it, it, there's no, um, it's no wonder Kevin Brophy was just like, come on, man. Like, you know, like he's, because he's been trying to do, he's been trying to get this thing off for years now. So, I don't know. It just, it, it seems silly, especially because she's just like all it's, you know, like Cardi B's attorneys are just kind of like, you know, the whole thing is just ridiculous anyway. Like, how is he being damaged from this and, you know, whatever. But I don't know. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Well, I'll, that. 
I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one way, you know, and, and here's the thing. When you have to file something with the court, and so, for example, when he's filing and he goes, hey, court, you need to sanction her, she lied under oath, um, that whole process of him getting his attorneys to file that and then for her attorneys to respond and then he probably had the opportunity to reply, that legal process probably cost them both with their attorney's fees, like, 8,000. That's probably why he was probably, you know, asking for that amount. But it's expensive just to have that one little issue presented to the court and decided. And then the other thing, again, I'm playing devil's advocate because, you know, why not? <laughs> but in Cardi's defense, going to Fashion Week for a week, she goes, it's totally different because a trial is three weeks. Right. She goes, I'm not able just to stop morning, lunch, and evening, check in with my kids, get on the phone. I'm being, you know, briefed by the attorney, prepared for hardcore questioning. I'm around all these people that I can't even get, like, you know, the COVID vaccinations. So, you know, obviously, the court sided with her and agreed. Yeah, no, I mean, but, but, it, but it is a, you know, a fine line because I'm trying this, I'm trying to see how this looks. Eh, it doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to. Um, it is a fine line because, I mean, where where does it kind of stop? Is it a point where, you know, if I murder somebody, I'm in a murder trial or something like that, I want to pause it because I get pregnant or just, you know, whatever. Can I use that as, oh, well, I was feeling, I don't know. It just seems, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it just it just seems like the, the law doesn't stop and your obligations don't stop because you chose to have a child. Like, yeah, you know no, and I mean? look, I totally, like, I love, I love that we're kind of falling a little bit on either sides of this because you know, I get it though, but I do get at, it, I do get it. As a litigation attorney, I can tell you that trials hardcore, even if it's a one day trial, yeah. which this is not, this is not, this is going to be a three week process of her having to be in California, not being able to see the kids and to take care of them. Very high stress. I mean, they really are different situations. So, look, I get it. <laughs> I see, I see Rich House reviews in the house, the, the Reels review show on the net, uh, talking about cancel her. He, he's got to be kidding because there's, there's no way. This is not a cancel level event. Not that, you know, <laughs> she won't find herself in these situations with everyone getting canceled, but it's definitely not a cancel level event. I can't imagine on any uh, well, I don't, I, any I don't level. think so. <laughs> I can't imagine anybody will care either way except for... Uh, except for Mr. Kevin there. So Yeah, but look, guys, all kinds of stuff happens during litigation. Look, there's stuff that will come up and, you know, someone will be like, this person was stalking me or I got mm. all of these emails or they started to publish all this stuff on social media defaming me. A lot of these things come up. So besides us even getting to the actual merits of the case to be like, hey, let's decide this thing. We are having all of these motions and responses and testimony having to do with all these little side issues. And that's why litigation gets so expensive because we still have to brief all that stuff. We still got to argue all that stuff to the court and then someone wins and someone loses. And then you keep going with the case. Joel, uh, Joel saying in the comments, uh, Cardi should just cut Mr. Tattoo a check. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I don't even understand why it's gotten like to this far. Like just, I'm sure well, this what kind of could check? have been settled. He wants five million. Was she just going to cut a little five million check? Is that what you're saying? No, <laughs> not a five million check. But I mean, I think I think that maybe something probably could have been worked out beforehand or something. Or I I don't know. I don't know. Five five million is is a lot, and I can't imagine that'll be uh, the payout for it. But you know, uh, it's just it's it. Well, we'll see because it's going. I mean, it's it's continuing. It's continuing. Right. We'll see if it. It's postponed, so I mean, we'll see. We'll see when it resumes up, and you know what other things will happen.